Now let's look at the range in action inside of Go. So in our program here, I'm going to go ahead and create basically a slice of salutations so we can have multiple salutations. And this is basically going to act as a collection. We'll talk about slices a little bit later in an upcoming module, so we're not going to go into the details here, but I'll show you the basic syntax that we can use. So I'm going to define a slice and I'm going to make it of type salutation, which will be greeting dot salutation. And then here, I'm just initializing this. And so I can put in the information I want here. We'll change our Bob hello to be the first salutation. And then we'll say Joe, hi. And then let's just add one more. We'll say Mary, what is up? So now we have our slice, and I'm going to make it so that our greet is going to take a slice. So I'm just going to define this here to be of type slice. And then we're going to change our loop here. So I'm going to get rid of this loop that we have currently. We're going to go back to the state where we're basically always printing out this message. And what we want to do here is we want to loop through all the salutations and do them each. So we're going to go ahead and create our loop. So we're going to say four, and then we're going to use two potential variables here. So I'm going to start off by just having this I comma, and then S will be the salutation. And then I'm going to do colon equal range. And then I'm going to use the collection that I want to loop through. So in this case, it's salutation. And what's happening here is it's basically saying go through every item in this collection, or this slice in this case. And for every item, populate this i and this s. Populate the i with the index of where we're at, so starting at zero, and then populate s with the value of the current value. So we'll end up looping through every single item in here and populating these two values. Now what we're gonna do here is we'll create our message. And we're basically just gonna move everything inside this loop. And then we'll do our logic. And what this should end up doing is basically executing this logic that we had initially before we start any of the looping constructs for each value in the salutation slice. Now we can also skip this i. We don't need to use this value. If we do this underscore here, it will not require us to use this value. If we have i here, we have to use it, otherwise it'll be an error. So I'm just gonna put the underscore because we're not going to utilize the index but we are gonna utilize this S. So we're just gonna replace these references to salutation with S. And now this part should work. We just need to change our calling code. So instead of passing in S, we're gonna pass in that slice. And if we run this code, you can see we're getting an error because of this S. So let's go ahead and comment this out. That's one interesting thing about Go is that if you don't use a variable, it is an error. So we'll go ahead and run this. And now you can see that we're getting all through these. We're getting Mr. Hello, Bob, Dr. Hi, Joe, Miss, what is up, Mary. And so we are able to take this and this could be, like I said, any one of the constructs that are collections that allow for using the range and we're passing it into our method. But what's happening here is in our for loop, we're using this range notation and that's allowing us to get each one of these values out. Now we could also do it the other way. If we only cared about the index, then we could actually just have the I here and we don't even have to specify the value. But in that case, we would have a problem in this case here because we're utilizing S and we're not utilizing the index. So if it's the index we don't care about, we do have to use the underscore and then when we put our S here, this works. 